with that, we have some more breaking inputs. Staying with the Pune Porsche case, we are now learning that uh, the Pune Municipal Corporation has finally swung into action three days after the entire incident of this accident that took place. A massive crackdown is currently uh, going on across the entire Pune city on illegal structures and pubs. And a demolition drive, in fact, is being conducted by the PMC at the moment. Yesha Kotak has been tracking all the details for us. She's currently joining us live on the broadcast from Koregao Park, where you can see we are bringing you those live visuals of how the PMC, in fact, is conducting that entire demolition drive. As you can see, three days after that horrifying tragedy took place on the roads of Pune, the... Pune Municipal Corporation is now carrying out a demolition drive against various rooftop uh, restaurants and illegal uh, pubs and restaurants that are offering liquor to the underage, operating much beyond the stipulated deadline. Let's also quickly go across to Yesha, who's uh, going to bring us more details on this. Yesha, important to also highlight which restaurant and pub is this and how has the PMC finally rounded up all these restaurants and um, pubs to demolish them? What has been the criteria? So, yes. Uh, so, yes, uh, in fact, according to the information available from Murray Municipal Corporation, uh, they had a list that served notice uh, to 15 locations in uh, Mundwa, 10 locations in Koregao Park, uh, and another 15 locations in Kalyani Nagar area. The visuals that you can see right behind me are, uh, the, uh, are the pubs which are being illegally demolished. Uh, in fact, uh, all of these, uh, as per uh, the information by uh, the Pune Municipal Corporation, uh, there was an area worth uh, more than 1,35,000 square feet that was under the scanner. And now this demolition drive is being undertaken. Like you can see, there are visuals of uh, the demolition drive that is uh, happening right here at uh, Koregao Park. These are two of the uh, famous uh, pubs and restaurants uh, in this very area. Uh, in fact, now uh, the demolition drive is happening here, but parallelly there are approximately another 25 to 30 locations where... Uh, the, where demolition drive is taking place. However, the question here is that uh, was uh, were these notices issued earlier? And in that case, if they were issued earlier, why was there no action taken then in uh, these cases? This is a massive crackdown across the entire city. And this is particularly happening at uh, various locations. These various locations that we speak of, uh, they put in, uh, in uh, they in fact are in Kalyani Nagar. They are also at, uh, at uh, Viman Nagar and Koregao Park. Uh, these locations, in fact, are known to be uh, the party hubs uh, uh, in uh, Pune city, which is where uh, this crackdown is taking place. Uh, we, we, in fact, are showing exclusive visuals from uh, this very location. Uh, we now, in fact, try and establish uh, and understand, uh, sir, this is massive jo crackdown. I, I am now busy with some different work. Later on, when the carvai end, ends, we will give you all information. But, uh, sir, right now, what is right the carvai? I am uh, miss, uh, doing the work of carvai. After ending, I will give you all details. So that was uh, the officer from uh, Pune Municipal uh, Commission, Commissioner Corporation speaking to us. Uh, you can in fact see all of these, uh, 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 in fact, all the uh, kitchen uh, equipments which are being bought out uh, from this uh, very location. Uh, in fact, uh, right here, I'll show you the part which has already been demolished. Uh, uh, these are in fact upmarket posh uh, affluent areas. Uh, where these pubs exist. Uh, in fact, some of the places which uh, over the weekend are packed. Now, of course, there were allegations that were leveled. Several allegations uh, which were being leveled against, uh, against pub owners, against, uh, against the municipal corporation, against the police as well, which is where we saw that the excise department yesterday, uh, in fact, sealed two pubs in this case, after which, yeah, until late last night, uh, there was... Um, uh, there was uh, Pune Police, which uh, ensured that all these pubs and restaurants shut shop by 1 a.m. Today, what is what has come to forth is that some of these structures, some of these pubs, which according to uh, Pune uh, Municipal Corporation are illegal, they are being brought down. Right. Uh, some of the top and top and affluent right. pubs where right. which are visited by people over the weekend, right. their shops are being shut.
Absolutely. Yes. Yesha, do share with us what is the sense that you're getting from the ground level considering whether it is Koregao Park or Kalyani Nagar locality in Pune, uh, which are now seeing the sudden uh, rise in the number of pubs and uh, rooftop restaurants, considering that Koregao Park and Kalyani Nagar are largely uh, residential areas, suddenly turning commercial, important for the PMC also to ensure if all these pubs have the right licenses to operate in residential localities such as these? Absolutely. In fact, uh, this is a question that's time and again being raised. In fact, some in, ever since yesterday, while we've been speaking to several locals, they had said that uh, Kalyani Nagar especially, which is uh, a residential area that had seen a sudden surge in pubs and restaurants coming up post-COVID. Uh, now, let us understand the whole geography of Pune. Uh, the main part of Pune, uh, the interior part, is where traditionally uh, Maharashtra and Brahmins who've stayed in Pune for years, they've been residing uh, in the outskirts now, like for that matter, Koregao Park, or for that matter, you also understand Kalyani Nagar. Uh, these are areas which are dominated by IT uh, professionals, mm. IT professionals who've been staying in these areas. Also, students, because uh, students uh, are in large number in various universities at uh, Pune, they've been staying in and around this area, which is some of these uh, pubs have come out. And that's not only in this case, but also at uh, Hinjewari and Pashan. Those areas are also IT dominated, which is where most of these pubs have come out. Uh, now, for those who've been traditional residents in Pune, they have ever since, uh, ever since last few years, uh, uh, having put forth uh, this opinion that some of these structures which have come up are illegal, they are nuisance, which is where late until night, until 2 and 3 in the night is where parties uh, continue. In fact, until we hours of the morning is where uh, there, are, there are people, there are youngsters who are on streets so with alcohol bottles. Uh, these are the allegations that have been levelled time and again by uh, the locals of uh, Pune, which is where, while we were trying to understand, trying to uh, speak to some of these locals, they've said that they've time and again reached out to several authorities asking uh, these uh, asking to take action against uh, some of these uh, pubs and restaurants but that all went unheard now only once uh, we see that there is an uproar over the death of these two youngsters right. is where authorities are actually waking up right. to take action against uh, uh, these pubs and restaurants. Yes, sir. What is the possibility that many of them who are continuing to operate are repeat offenders, considering, let's not forget, that even last year there was a demolition drive already conducted on these pubs and open rooftop restaurants uh, in uh, major Pune localities by the Pune Municipal Corporation? Absolutely. And like we've mentioned, uh, time and again, while action is being taken against uh, some of these structures, uh, what is uh, what has come to forth is that the large-scale operation that's taking place now. Of course, there are several structures, several pubs, uh, which are uh, demolished, uh, uh, which are demolished in a routine demolition drive uh, by the municipal corporation. But here, uh, the large-scale operation that's taking place uh, today, in fact, in Mundwa, like we've understood from our sources, one lakh twenty thousand square feet is the area that they claim was illegal. Uh, the fact oh, that Desha, I'm so sorry to interrupt you there. In fact, we are getting in breaking inputs on the same story. We are now